everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be doing another slime review. And in my previous video, we used a, a golden hydroglit slime and a silver hydroglit slime. And in this slime review, we'll be using a bronze hydroglit slime. So we have Anna and Elsa watching us. Hello, hi. You probably have already saw them in the previous video. And let's get started. So this is a bronze hydroglit slime and it is like Play-Doh slime because you can use like Play-Doh shakes, everything in it. As you can see, I already played with it. And this is not that sticky when I like first touch it. Like if you're not looking for a sticky slime, this would be the f one for you, in my opinion. But if you're looking for some sticky slimes, these two would be for you, in my opinion. You know, if you don't agree with me and you get the slime and then they're like, oh, they're not sticky, you can not agree with me, but that's my opinion. So, yeah. And it makes very good bubbles. Let me just try again. I'm probably not good at making bubbles, that's why. So let's do the bubble test. Let's see if this is a good slime. And, oh no. Oh, I didn't make a bubble. Let's try this again. Yes, it makes perfect bubbles. Like if you practice and practice and practice, you'll get it right like me. I'm not a perfect bubble maker, but yes, I am. And when I like squish the bubble, like, no um, slime comes on me, so that's very good. So let's move on to the stretch test. So the stretch test is like you basically stretch it and see if you like stretch it fast, it won't rip, or if you like stretch it slow, it doesn't rip like that. So I'm hoping that it doesn't rip when I stretch it fast. Oh yeah, it does rip, but it's okay. It's yeah, really nice slime though. No. Let's do slow. You slow, it's very good. I know, like, really good. I know. And, yes, this is a very good slime. I really like it. And you can, like, squeeze it. Really, like, this is like a stretch, stress ball. And if you, if you like stress balls, you can have this. Because it's like a stress ball. But not the sticky ones. Like, sticky ones are not stress balls. They, like, stick to your hands and all that stuff. Oh, so good. It's like when you get your fingers in it, it's like satisfying, kind of. So let's see the sound test. Very good sound test. You are a good slime, bronze. So let's do the shape test. Very good shape test, bronze. Very good. Now let's do design test. Very good design. Mr. Um Slime. Wow, it even makes a shape. This slime is amazing. Like you should totally get it. It even is like Play-Doh. That I wonder how these people make these slimes because they're so good. I'm very impressed with this company. I'm very impressed. This is amazing slime. I really like it. Like it spreads like butter. It's like butter jiggly slime. Oh my god, that is so cool. Let's see if it makes sound with this then. Yeah. But this one is better. It's like there's a like bubbles popping. Let's do the pokey test. Probably no sound because jiggly slime. But I love jiggly slimes. Like you can make so many bubbles with it. You probably were told that jiggly slimes don't make bubbles, but these hydro glitz ones make bubbles. So if you want a jiggly slime that makes bubbles, then this one is for you. And yeah, let's do another bubble. See if I can make a bigger bubble. Oh, I didn't make any bubbles. So let's do swirly test. It's basically the swirl test. 
amazing throw. I think this one is my favorite. But we forgot to do one last test. And it is, can you guess? The B test. Yes. I'm very impressed. It doesn't like stick anything. It just comes off right immediately. And like if you leave it for a little bit of time, like that, it won't stick either. It'll just make a better pattern. So let me, let me take it off. Only sticks a little bit, like a little bit. So we need to do the rolly test. You probably have not heard of this in my previous video, but I made up a new test and it's called the rolly test. Very good rolly test, especially because this is Julie's one, but I just made a, a new one. Cut test. So let's stretch it a little bit, like that. I know, I know, I know. Amazing, it just cut everything. Amazing, I know you can do this with your hands, you can cut it like, look, cut it. But yes, it even cuts with a Play-Doh knife. Very good slime. So let's see if we can make a popsicle. Yes, good popsicle, it's like melting. I never thought it would melt, but this slime is amazing. I really love it. Okay. And you guys can learn bubbles from this. Amazing. That's a good squish test. In my opinion, that this is like the best slime ever. I love this slime. So as you can see, this one is like not very good and all that stuff. And this one I would rate like a nine out of 10. This one I would rate a nine out of 10. This one I would rate a 10 out of 10. It is not sticking to your hands and it is very good. It does immediately good sound test. See? But I need to take it out to do it. See? Very good, and it can even make a popsicle. Very nice. It can become a bronze popsicle man, and it makes noises. Like that. Yes, bronze slime, you're very good. I'm sorry, um, gold and silvery slime, but the bronze slime is the best. It can even do this. Very good, so I would recommend this slime if you're looking for it, but if you receive it like sticky and stuff and you like sticky slime, so that's good. But if you receive it sticky and you don't like sticky slimes, um, that's okay, but you can, you can add like activator and then it'll turn like very good. If you have an activator, you can do it. Or borax or something like that. Probably think, oh no, that's not borax, that's water. And if you have water, you can make jiggly slime though. Yes, you just add a ton of water and you'll get jiggly slime. Activator, yeah, you get jiggly slime. And yeah, that's it for today's slime review. And I hope you like this, watching this video. And I'll see you all next time. Bronze Slime wins. Bye.